In the vast cosmos of technology, tiny engines drive our digital world. These are called processors. They are the brains inside our computers and phones. They perform calculations at incredible speeds. Think of them as miniature supercomputers. Each one is a marvel of human ingenuity. They allow us to connect, create and explore. Without them, our modern lives would look very different. These chips are small, yet their impact is immense. We will explore three special types of these engines. First, the Graphics Processing Unit, or GPU, paints pictures on our screens. Second, the Neural Processing Unit, or NPU. It helps machines learn and think. Third, the Accelerated Processing Unit, or APU. This one combines different skills. Each has a unique role in the digital ecosystem. Understanding them helps us see the future. It is a future powered by silicon. Why should we care about these tiny titans? They're not just for tech experts. They affect everyone. They power the games we play. They enable the videos we watch. They make our smartphones smart. They are crucial for scientific discovery. They help us understand our universe. From weather forecasts to medical breakthroughs, their reach is profound. Learning about them is like learning a new language. It is the language of modern computation. Join me on a journey. We will delve into the heart of these processes. We will see how they work. We will discover their unique strengths. We will explore their fascinating applications. It's like gazing at different stars in the night sky. Each one shines with its own light. Each tells its own story. Prepare to be amazed by the power packed into these small pieces of silicon. The universe of computing is vast and ever-expanding. The Graphics Processing Unit, or GPU, started with a simple job. Its task was to draw images on computer screens. Think of each image as a mosaic of tiny dots. These dots are called pixels. Each pixel needs a color and a position. To create smooth motion, many images or frames must be shown every second. This requires a lot of calculations. The GPU was born from this need for visual speed and complexity. It was designed to handle graphics efficiently. The true magic of the GPU lies in its parallel processing. Imagine trying to paint a million dots one by one. That would be very slow. A GPU is like having thousands of tiny paintbrushes all working at the same time. Each brush handles a small part of the picture. This is parallelism. GPUs have thousands of smaller, simpler cores. They work together on tasks that can be broken down. This makes them incredibly fast for certain jobs. Over time, scientists and engineers saw the GPU's potential. Its parallel power was not just for games. It could be used for complex scientific calculations. It could analyze massive amounts of data. Think of searching for patterns in star charts or simulating protein folding for medical research. The GPU became a versatile workhorse. Its ability to crunch numbers in parallel opened new doors for discovery. It became a tool for seeing the unseen. This evolution was remarkable. GPUs went from simple two-dimensional image renderers to complex three-dimensional world builders. They powered increasingly realistic video games. They also became essential in fields like artificial intelligence. Training AI models requires immense computational power. GPUs provided that power. They continue to evolve. Each new generation brings more speed and capability. The GPU is a testament to how a specialized tool can find broader applications. Now, let us turn to the Neural Processing Unit, or NPU. This is a newer kind of processor. It is specifically designed for artificial intelligence tasks. AI involves machines learning from data. They learn to recognize patterns. They learn to make predictions. This is much like how our own brains learn. The NPU is built to accelerate these AI computations. It is like a specialized brain for your devices. It makes them smarter. The NPU is inspired by the structure of the human brain. Our brains have billions of neurons. These neurons are interconnected in complex networks. NPUs try to mimic this structure. They are optimized for operations common in neural networks. These include tasks like matrix multiplication and vector processing. These are the mathematical foundations of many AI algorithms. The NPU performs these tasks very efficiently. It uses less power than a general purpose processor. You can find NPUs in many modern devices. Your smartphone might have one. It helps with tasks like voice recognition. It powers the smart assistant that answers your questions. It enables features like real-time language translation. Smart cameras use NPUs for object detection. They can identify people, cars, or animals. NPUs are designed for high performance at low power. This is crucial for battery-powered devices. They bring AI to the edge. The rise of the NPU marks a significant shift. 
We are building machines that can learn and adapt. NPUs are the engines driving this revolution. They're becoming more common and more powerful. They allow for sophisticated AI to run locally on devices. This means faster responses. It means better privacy as data doesn't always need to go to the cloud. The NPU is a digital apprentice learning to perceive and interact with the world. It is a key piece of our intelligent future. Imagine a processor that tries to be a jack of all trades. This is the Accelerated Processing Unit or APU. An APU combines a central processing unit and a GPU on a single chip. The CPU handles general computing tasks. It runs your operating system and applications. The GPU part handles graphics and other parallel tasks. By integrating them, designers aim for a balance. A balance of performance, power and cost. It is a symphony of different silicon parts working together. The main advantage of an APU is integration. Having the CPU and GPU on the same piece of silicon saves space. This is very important for compact devices. Think of thin laptops or small desktop computers. It also generally consumes less power than separate CPU and GPU chips. This helps extend battery life in portable devices. Furthermore, APUs can be more cost-effective to manufacture. This makes them a good choice for budget-friendly systems. They offer a good all-around performance package. APUs are commonly found in mainstream laptops. They provide enough power for everyday tasks. Web browsing, office work and video streaming are handled well. They also offer decent graphics performance for light gaming. Some video game consoles also use custom-designed APUs. This allows for a compact and powerful gaming system. Home theatre PCs can also benefit from APUs. They can handle high-definition video playback smoothly. They are versatile performers for many users. However, there are trade-offs with APUs. While the integrated GPU is capable, it is usually not as powerful as a high-end dedicated GPU. For serious gamers or professionals needing maximum graphics power, a separate GPU is often better. The CPU and GPU in an APU also share system memory. This can sometimes create bottlenecks, but technology is always improving. APUs are becoming more powerful and efficient. They represent a clever compromise in processor design. Section 5. Architectural marvels, how they differ inside. Let's peek inside these processors. Their internal structure, their architecture, dictates what they do best. A GPU is built for massive parallelism. It typically has thousands of relatively simple cores. Think of it like an enormous swarm of bees. Each bee does a small task, but together they achieve a monumental result. These cores are designed to execute the same instruction on different pieces of data simultaneously. This is called SIMD, or Single Instruction Multiple Data. This is perfect for graphics, where every pixel needs similar processing. An NPU, on the other hand, has a very specialized architecture. It is tailored for the mathematics of neural networks. This often involves many matrix multiplications and convolutions. NPUs might have dedicated hardware blocks for these specific operations. They are designed to move data efficiently for AI workloads. They prioritize energy efficiency for these tasks. It's like having a custom-designed toolkit where each tool is perfectly shaped for a particular job in building an AI model. This specialization makes them incredibly fast and efficient for AI. An APU combines different architectural philosophies on one chip. It has a few powerful CPU cores. These are designed for complex sequential tasks. They handle the operating system and general applications. Alongside these, it has a number of GPU cores. These are simpler and designed for parallel tasks like graphics. Crucially, these components share access to the same system memory. This shared access can be an advantage for certain tasks, but it can also be a limitation if not managed well. It's a team effort on a tiny scale. The way data flows through these architectures is also key. GPUs need high memory bandwidth as they process huge amounts of texture and pixel data. NPUs are optimized for the flow of data through neural network layers and often have specialized memory hierarchies. APUs try to balance the data needs of both CPU and GPU components. Efficient data movement is critical for performance in all processors. The internal design determines the processor's destiny. It shapes its strengths and weaknesses. It's a universe of intricate pathways. Section 6 Real World Arenas, where they shine brightest. So, where do these different processors truly make their mark? Well, GPUs, they're the undisputed champions of visual computing. 
Modern video games with their stunning realistic worlds rely heavily on GPU power. Professional video editing and three-dimensional animation also demand strong GPUs. They render complex scenes and effects and beyond visuals, GPUs accelerate scientific research. They simulate everything from climate change to molecular dynamics, helping us explore new frontiers of knowledge. Truly, they are engines of creation and discovery. Now, NPUs, they're rapidly becoming essential in the realm of artificial intelligence. Your smartphone uses an NPU for its smart features. Voice assistants understand your commands thanks to NPUs. Image recognition software on social media or in security systems often relies on them. In automobiles, NPUs are paving the way for autonomous driving. They process sensor data to help cars see and navigate the world. Essentially, they are the brains behind the growing intelligence in everyday objects, making our world more responsive. And then, APUEs, they find their sweet spot in devices that need a balance. Mainstream laptops benefit greatly from APUs. They offer good performance for everyday computing and light gaming, all while keeping costs and power consumption reasonable. Handheld gaming devices often use custom APUs, packing impressive gaming capabilities into a portable form factor. Home theater PCs or HTPCs use APUs for smooth video playback. They are the versatile workhorses for a wide range of consumer electronics. Ultimately, choosing the right processor depends entirely on the task. If you want the ultimate gaming experience, a dedicated high-end GPU is key. If you're developing cutting-edge AI applications, an NPU or a powerful GPU will be your tool. For a balanced everyday laptop, an APU is often the perfect choice. There's no single best processor for everything. Each shines brightly in its own domain. The universe of computing needs this diversity thriving on specialized tools for specialized jobs. Section 7, The Evolution Story, A Journey Through Time. The story of these processes is a journey of innovation. In the early days of personal computing, the CPU was the undisputed king. It handled all tasks, including basic graphics. Graphics were simple then. Think of blocky characters and limited colors. As software became more demanding, especially games, CPUs struggled. They weren't designed for the repetitive calculations needed for complex visuals. A new solution was needed and the stage was set for a revolution. The late 1990s saw the birth of the modern GPU. Companies realized that a specialized chip could handle graphics much faster, freeing up the CPU for other tasks. The first GPUs focused on two-dimensional and then three-dimensional acceleration, leading to a visual explosion in gaming. Worlds became more immersive, characters more detailed. Over time, the programmability of GPUs increased, allowing developers to use them for more than just predefined graphics functions. This opened the door to general-purpose GPU computing, or GPGPU. More recently, the artificial intelligence boom created another need. Training and running complex AI models required immense computational power. While GPUs were good at this, an even more specialized chip could be better. Thus, the MPU emerged. MPUs are designed from the ground up for AI. They focus on efficiency and speed for neural network operations. Their rise reflects the growing importance of AI in every aspect of technology. They are the new kids on the silicon block. APUs represent a trend towards integration. As chip manufacturing technology advanced, it became possible to combine CPU and GPU functions effectively. This was driven by the demand for smaller, more power-efficient devices. Laptops, tablets and consoles all benefited from this approach. The APU story is one of convergence, about finding the right balance between specialized power and integrated convenience. This journey of evolution is far from over. The quest for faster, smarter and more efficient processes continues. Section 8. Gazing into the crystal ball future horizons. So, what does the future hold for these powerful processing units? For GPUs, the trajectory is towards ever greater realism and speed. We can expect graphics in games and simulations to become almost indistinguishable from reality. Ray tracing, a technique for realistic lighting, will become standard. GPUs will also become even more crucial for scientific research, tackling larger data sets and more complex problems. They will help us unlock new discoveries about our universe and ourselves. The visual and computational frontiers will expand. NPUs are poised to become truly ubiquitous. 
expect to see them in almost every smart device. From your refrigerator to your car, AI will be embedded everywhere. MPUs will make these devices more intuitive and helpful, enabling more personalized experiences. Imagine AI that truly understands your needs and preferences. The development of more powerful and efficient MPUs is key to this future. They will drive the next wave of intelligent automation and interaction. Our world will become a network of learning machines. APUs will also continue to evolve significantly. The integrated graphics capabilities of APUs will improve dramatically, potentially rivaling today's mid-range dedicated GPUs. This will make powerful gaming and content creation accessible on thinner and lighter laptops. We will also see more specialized APU designs, some incorporating MPU-like capabilities. The focus will be on optimizing performance per watt, meaning more power without sacrificing battery life. The APU will continue to be a versatile champion. Perhaps the most exciting trend is the blurring of lines. We may see more hybrid architectures, chips that combine the strengths of CPUs, GPUs and MPUs in novel ways. Future processors might be highly adaptable, reconfiguring themselves for different tasks. The quest for performance and efficiency will drive innovation. Chip designers will explore new materials and new paradigms. The universe of processing is constantly expanding. The next generation of chips will redefine what is possible. It is a thrilling time for computation. Section 9. Conclusion, the ever-expanding universe of processors. We've journeyed through the fascinating world of specialized processors. We saw the GPU, a master of parallel tasks, painting our digital canvases. It started with pixels and now powers scientific breakthroughs. We explored the MPU, the brain's digital apprentice, purpose-built for artificial intelligence, making our devices smarter. It helps machines perceive, learn and reason. We also examined the APU, a symphony of silicon, blending CPU and GPU capabilities for balanced performance in everyday devices. Each of these processes plays a vital role in our technological cosmos. There's no single chip that reigns supreme for all tasks. The GPU excels at graphics and massive parallel computation. The NPU is the champion of energy-efficient AI. The APU offers a versatile and integrated solution for many needs. This diversity is a strength, allowing us to build a wide range of devices, each tailored to its specific purpose, from the smallest sensor to the largest supercomputer. The pace of innovation in processor technology is truly astounding. Just a few decades ago, the capabilities we now hold in our hands were science fiction. What new types of processors await us? What unimagined applications will they unlock? The engineers and scientists working on these technologies are modern-day explorers. They are pushing the boundaries of what silicon can achieve, charting new territories in the digital landscape. The journey is constant, the discovery is unending. Our digital future is intricately woven with the fate of these tiny powerful engines. They are the foundation upon which we build our connected world. They drive our economies, our entertainment and our understanding of the universe. As they become more powerful and more intelligent, so too does our potential. The story of GPUs, NPUs and APUs is a story of human ingenuity a testament to our relentless quest to understand and to create. The universe of processors continues to expand, full of wonder and promise.